This is part of my premium course, so if you like this video, be sure to check out usefullaravelpackages.com. Okay, let's take a look at Blueprint. Blueprint is a code generation tool for Laravel. If you already know some of the models and CRUD actions for some of your application, this package can quickly generate some starter code for you. So let's take a look at how to use it. As always, I have a fresh Laravel app here. All I've done is add the auth scaffolding here. So let's go ahead and get started. So as always, let's compose or acquire it. Okay, that's done. And if you look here, it suggests to install this package because it actually makes use of some assertions here. So you can install that if you want. Let's go ahead and do that. Require this. Okay. So you have to create a draft.yaml file in the root of your project. And here is where you can define different components like models or controllers. So let's start off simple and just copy the models in. So let's go ahead and copy that. Let's go into our code editor and let's add a new one called draft.yaml. Okay, and let's paste that in. So it's very readable. As you see, it's defining a model named post and a post has a title with a string of 400 characters, a content that is long text, and a published at field that's nullable and that's a timestamp. So with just these five lines of code, it's gonna generate a lot of usable starter code for us. So let's go ahead and do PHP artisan blueprint build. And as you can see, it created three files. We have the migration file, the model file, and a factory. So let's take a look at those. So if you go into database, migrations, we have this new migration and this specified all the fields for that migration that we need based on that YAML file. We also have factories. So it tries to guess the best faker field to use for each of the fields. And we also have the model that was created. If you go down here, where is it in app app post and it created the fillable fields and casts and dates as well. So let's go ahead and continue to add on here. So we can do PHP artisan blueprint erase, and this will sort of roll back our changes. And let's go ahead and add these controllers here. So let's copy this and let's paste this into our draft YAML file. And remember indentation is important in YAML files. So make sure you get that correct. So let's comment the store method out for now, just to see what we can do. And as you see, we have a post model and it's going to create a post resource with just an index method for now. And within that index method, we are going to query all the posts. So this will define the eloquent method that we're going to use. And we want to render out the post dot index view, which it will stub out and pass in the posts it queries from here. So let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we have more code generated. So the first three are the same, but now we have this post controller, this view, and we also have a test here and the routes file was also updated. So let's take a look at the routes file first. And you'll see we have a route resource and just an index method because that's all we defined in our draft. What else do we have? We have a post controller and a post controller test. So here's the index method. Here it is querying all the posts and here it is passing it into the view. And we also have that view. So post index. And it's just a template here. And we also have tests. So if we go into tests, feature, HTTP controllers, we have this post controller test. And here is the test for that. So it's just creating some posts here. It's going to that route, asserting that it's successful and asserting that the view is the correct view and it passes the correct data in. So if you run this test, that passes. So let's go ahead and erase this again and add 
more stuff in here. So erase. And when you do erase, the routes file doesn't get updated. So let's make sure to update that. So let me just close all these. And let's just remove this route file because when we generate it again, it will be generated again. Okay. And let's add the store method in here, but let's also add a few others. So back to our draft, I want a method to show a single post. So let's do show. And this will automatically have route model binding. So we don't have to query anything. So we just have to do render post dot show will be the name of the view. And it will scaffold that out for us. And we want to pass in the post. Let's make a view for creating a new post. So create and same thing, render post dot show, sorry, post dot create. And that will make a view for us. And we're responsible for creating the view. All it does is stub it out and it's uncomment this. And you can see a lot of things being generated here. So we're doing some validation and this will create a form request for us and pass it into the controller. This is going to create the data coming in. So it's going to do post create. And in our case, it's the title and the content. Send will make a new mailable called review notification. And it will pass in a post author, which we don't have, but we can still generate it. And it will also pass in the post. Dispatch is the keyword for generating a job named sync media. And we're, we're passing in the post here. Fire is the keyword that generates events. And again, we're passing in the post flash will flash a message to the session. And we can define that in the view. And I'll show you that in a second. And then we are redirecting to the post dot index route after we store the post. So if you're not sure of the routes that it's creating, you can always do a PHP artisan route list. And you can see it here. And it's just following route resource conventions. Actually, let's run this again after we generate it. So let's generate this first with blueprint build. Okay, and you can see it generated all that stuff there. And if we run the route list again, you'll see all the routes for everything that was generated. So everything's just within a post namespace. So we have index store, create and show. And let's also go through the new stuff it generated. So start with the route again. So routes web. So same thing, but now we have edit, update, and destroy. What happened to our create method? Oh, sorry. It's actually doing accept. So it's doing everything except these ones. I see. Okay. Let's go into our post controller again and see the extra stuff that it did. So we did index already. We did show is something we created. So again, it's just passing in the post here and it's going to a view it generated. Create is doing the same thing, but it's just going to a create a view. And here is where all the extra stuff happens. So we have some validation here and it's, that's in a form request. So if you go here, you'll see that it's validating it here with these rules and it's creating everything here. Here is the mail that it's creating and it's to post author, which we don't have, but we can easily add this if we wanted to. This is the job that's created and it's passing through the post and I'm sorry, this is the mailable. So if you want to go to it, you can see it here. This is the job. If you want to go to it, you can see it here. And this is the event. Again, if you want to go to it, you can see it here. And here it is flashing the message to the session and redirecting back to the post index. So let's go ahead and run our tests here. See if that works. The mail test might fail. Actually, let's take a look at that first. So here are all the tests that it generates. So let's go ahead and try this out. So the mail one might fail because we don't have a post author. So let's try this. 
So post controller test 102. Let's see what's happening there. So right here. So it's not redirecting for some reason. So let's comment this out because like I said, the mail's not going to work. And we can take out the mail faked as well. Let's try this again. All right, we have to comment this out from the post controller. And let's try this again. A test. Oops. Oh, it still runs. And you can see everything is passing here. So let's go ahead and try this in the browser now. So if we go here, we should have a posts route. Sorry, that's going to be post, I believe. And that's just because I didn't migrate. So let's go ahead and migrate everything. Let's try it again. Okay. And here is the stub for the index. So we have one for, I believe, one. Oh, there is no post for one. But there should be a form for create. And that should be all of our routes we can view in the browser. So I'm going to paste some code in for the form here to generate a post. So back here, let's go to our resources, views, and here are all the views it generated. So for create, as you see, it extends this default layout in Laravel. And I'm just going to paste some code in here. And this is just the code for actually, let me just get rid of all this and paste that in. And this is the code for the form. So we have a form that posts to this endpoint. And that's going to be this method right here. And then we just have fields for the title and some validation here and the content. And here's a submit button. Let's see how that looks. Cool. And this should work. So say my first post content here and create the post. Okay. And as you saw, it did redirect to our index page, but that doesn't have anything in the view. So let's go ahead and create that or paste that in. So that'll be index. So this is simple enough. So I'll just do it here. So we'll put it in an unordered list and we'll do a for each. And it's getting passed in as posts, so we can just loop over them and do li and let's put a link here. And the link's going to be slash post, or we can do the route helper. So route, what is it? Just put the post title in here, post title. And let's do this again. So route post dot show. And the parameter is what? Post ID. That should work, hopefully. Okay. And if you go here, that goes to the show blade. Let's go ahead and do that one. And I'll just do this one quickly. So it's just container h2 with a post title. Okay, and let's put a p tag with the post content. Okay, let's try this. And there is the content for this specific post. So this should be in a container, the index. So let's just wrap this in a div with a container. Okay. And after we create one, or I can put a create button right here actually just put a link here so route create post and this will be post.create and let's give it a class of what btn btn primary it is using the default bootstrap scaffolding in laravel okay and that should go to create post okay and let's work on the success message or the flash message that happens here. So if you look at the controller, you'll see it's flashing the message here and it's flashing it as a post title. So if you go into the index, because it redirects back to the index, we can do that. So I have a snippet here, which will help me do that. So I think the snippet is called success or something. Yeah. So the thing is called post title. 
we're in a session variable and we just want to echo that out and in here let's just say post created and then let's just tack that on and let's see if this works so let me just refresh this my second post post content here and there is the success message so yeah as you see everything was scaffolded out and most of the work was in our views but if you just have this draft yaml definition a lot of code can be generated initially and we can just add on from there so yeah definitely a great package if you want to get started on your application code quickly please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so thanks for watching guys see you in the next one okay thanks bye